Hey guys, so today we're talking about Tuesday's daily focus and that is plan and play day with the Fly Lady cleaning system. Planning is the key to effective home management. And so by the end of this video, you guys are gonna have all the tools and the tips that you're gonna need to save time and money. Last week, if you remember, we went over the daily focus with Fly Lady and that's just a structure for your week that really keeps up with the demands of being a mom and a wife. So on Tuesday, we're just gonna focus on what's coming up for the week and the weekend. So there are a few things that we're gonna need to really be effective. We need our timer because we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. We're gonna need our phone, our calendar, a planner, whatever you keep up with all of your appointments and things, you're gonna need to grab that, as well as a piece of paper, a pencil, or some kind of way to jot down notes. But first, coffee. So to be a really effective menu planner, first you need to start with a list of your family favorites. Now I have had this two different methods. I'm currently using my digital planner, which has got my control journal in it, and I've got a list of my favorite recipes, and I continue to add to this list every time I find something new that the family likes. I also have loved creating my own personal recipe book, and so this is just a planner that you can purchase at like Michael's and you know all the places but you just you can write in your favorites and so you just write it in it's got the tab so that you can quickly flip through the pages are easily removable both of these methods are great ways to keep up with your favorite recipes but you can honestly do this with uh, a recipe box or a notebook and just write them all out as you try new recipes and the family votes that it's a good one, you just add that to your list of go-to recipes. Now, if you need help figuring out how to do your control journal, I can definitely help you. I've got a video that I'll link here, and it just walks through the two basic ways, paper or digital, and I will help you figure out which way works better for you, but it will help you in this step, so I do suggest you watch that. I also like to keep a list of my favorite breakfast desserts and snacks um, for each of the family members and that way when I'm going to the store I can make sure that I keep those in stock as well. So having all of this in one place is really a time saver. Hey y'all, if so far this is being helpful, give me a thumbs up or a like. That is really gonna help support the channel because we're just an itty bitty channel and we're trying to grow and reach everyone and help them to really make the most of being a mom and a homemaker. So take a look at the calendar and check how many meals are you realistically going to need for the week. And what I like to do is add one small extra one that's super easy in case plans change and we're stuck at home on a night that I thought we were gonna go out. I still have something covered. It may not be like elaborate, but at least I'll have food in the house. Just check my planner and see what I have going on so I can see that this past week we had my son's birthday. But coming up, of course, Saturday, um, we've got plans and then Sunday is Father's Day. So if I hadn't already mailed a Father's Day card, I would do that. But that's, I remembered to buy the card last week because I checked my calendar and I put it on my list. So every single week doing this will keep you ahead of the game and let you be more intentional about gift giving and cards and all of those things. Another good tip is to check the stock of your fridge and your refrigerator. Make a list or a master list of things that you know you need to use. So if you have chicken left over from last week, first of the week, we need to use that up. Make sure that expiration dates are good, the fruits and vegetables are still looking okay, and if they're starting to get to that place where they really need to be used, make a plan that, you, that we're going to use them. Let's eliminate all of that money getting thrown in the trash every single week. It also eliminates a lot of duplicate buying because if you don't know what you have you'll always buy an extra one just in case some of the key things that you'll want to remember as you're writing out your menu plan is what you have in stock what are your family favorites? Maybe just rotate through those regularly, or you can assign like a little bit of a theme. Sometimes I like to do a theme so that on Monday is a crock pot day, on Tuesday it's a Mexican day. It just helps me kind of easily plan things and it alternates also the complexity of meals so that I know that once I throw it in the crock pot, I can forget about it on Monday because I'm very busy with cleaning. On Tuesday, it doesn't take a lot of 
complicated prep work, but I do have some vegetable chopping and some standing over the oven as I do my ingredients. Guys, just remember the goal of this is just to get them fed. It doesn't have to be some kind of a master gourmet list. Just get them fed. That's the bottom line. Make it as healthy as you can. Make it as tasty as you can, but don't, whatever you do, don't plan out five to seven brand new recipes that you've never made before because instead of making this stress-free, you're going to be making it as maximum stress level as possible. So pick out your favorites. I will sometimes add one new recipe to try, but I put that on a day that I know that I'm going to be very light in every other way. Now, if I could just get someone to do the cooking for me, I would be all set. By the way, if we are not already friends, I would love for you to just subscribe and make sure and introduce yourself in the comments below. A hey, howdy, and where you're from would be amazing. I really want to connect with you, and if you're not already following me over on Instagram, that's an excellent way for us to have more of a one-on-one -on -one chat. I would love it. So please consider leaving me a comment and letting me know where you guys are from. So now we're just gonna go ahead and make that shopping list. And I like to have my list of all the things that I have in the house that need to be used so I don't duplicate anything. I look at my recipes and write out all of those hidden ingredients that I a lot of times will forget so that we have everything and I separate it by section. So all of my refrigerated things get listed together, frozen together, produce together. It saves so much time and trouble. If you are able to have some note of some type, if there's a coupon attached to that product, and that way while you're shopping, you'll make sure that you're having all of your things together. It's just a good time to get organized. A great way of making sure that you're maximizing your savings, guys, because gas is expensive. We need to save money everywhere that we can. And by making a really great list of all the things that you're going to need this week from all the stores that you need to go to will eliminate going back and forth five times because you forgot something. Now, once you've got a good master list of all of these things, menu planning is going to be so much smoother and simpler. But with your first one, you're going to probably notice that this takes more than the 15 minutes that we allotted. So if you can set things up so that it repeats every week, your time is going to get much faster and you're going to feel more confident about the things that you do have in your refrigerator and in your cabinets. So next we're going to choose a shopping day. Now with Fly Lady, she designates those days of the week on the daily focus like we talked about last week. But if those days don't work out for you, if you need to flip things around, feel free to do so. A lot of times I will change things up depending on plans that I have for the week. Also, maybe I'm a Kroger shopper and the ad changes on a Monday instead of on a Wednesday, you know. And I also look at coupons and things like that because if I've got a ton of coupons that I need to use before the end of the month and my Thursday is on the first, then I'm clearly going to probably try and go to the store earlier. So it's fine to take things and make it your own, but it's a great way to also save money if you know the days that sales change, you know the days that coupons come out, things like that. That is going to come in and be a factor as well. Some other thoughts on picking your shopping day would be you may also need to consider when is payday and when can you have some childcare? It is even better if you've got an hour or two hours that you can go and do your things without having the kids because then you can really focus, you can get the better deals, you can remember all the things that you need to remember. I know it's not something that's reality for a lot of us, but if you do have one day that someone else can watch the kids, that may be the perfect day for you to get out and do all of your errands. And I also want you to post the menu. So put it up on your refrigerator or the, um, where is that place? Also remember to post the menu in a place where your family can see it easily so that you don't get that question a thousand times a day. Hey, what's for dinner? We hate that question so much. And so if you put it on your refrigerator or at your command station or wherever it is that you keep the family organized, then they can look and see it very easily. But it also inspires you to actually live up to the menu plan. It doesn't have to be assigned by day, but it will let you remind yourself that, hey, we've got a plan. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here and it will keep you less stressed throughout the week. 
once you get home after your shopping trip to go ahead and prep things that you can. So if you can chop the vegetables for tomorrow's menus, if you can, you know, separate out the snacks so that it's easy to grab and go. If you've got the time, this is going to save you stress in the week when maybe things are a little bit hectic or you're under the gun, you don't have a lot of extra time. So when you have time, make the most of your time. Menu planning is just one of many things that I use out of my control journal. And again, if you haven't set up your control journal, you really need to go to this video here because it is my life. It's the home Bible and it just is going to get you so leveled up in your homemaking life. Blech.